Uh, I just want to show you guys just a little bit of why I'm working inside today and why I don't feel bad about tearing the car down a little bit. Get ready for this. Yeah. Jeez. All right guys, back at it out here in the garage. And I'm running the heater out here, so it's t-shirt weather, which is really nice. Today I gotta tackle another project. Speaking of things keeping cool or warm, I gotta build a fan shroud for the old Model A. Follow along, let's knock this hopefully quick project out. Okay, here's what we're dealing with with the old Model A. I've got the aftermarket radiator set in here, just a mechanical flex fan, and no shroud. Now, I don't think, be honest, I don't <clears throat> think this thing's gonna overheat really a lot because it's so open, there's nothing retaining the heat in. But haven't had any issues yet, but it's been cold outside. But I, I really wanna make this thing reliable, so in the worst case, if it's hot outside, traffic, anything like that, this thing will be able to drive and stay cool. So today, what we're gonna accomplish is we're gonna fabricate a fan shroud. Something that's gonna cover up, you know, for a fan shroud to be effective, it's got a seal, basically. It's got to seal up your entire radiator, and you want to have it come over about an inch over the fan, uh, covering the fan, and you want it to be somewhat tight around the fan area. You don't want a lot of gap there. You want it to be able to, basically, any air that this fan is pulling has to come through this radiator. Okay? Here's my issues today, though, my limb facts, I can already tell you. This engine, the way it sits, it sits so low in the frame that the bottom of the fan comes down to about, oh, about right here, which is below the bottom of the uh, fins of the radiator here. So, I'm gonna have to get a little bit creative and build something that kind of comes in square and over and then allows my, my round part to come down below that while it still comes in and seals off the uh, core part of the radiator. So, I've got a chunk of, uh, it's galvanized, but we'll work with it steel sheet metal over there in the corner. I've been hanging on to a long time to do this project. So uh, in order to get it done, I'm gonna start by taking off my grill shell so we can have access to this radiator uh, and see what we're looking at. And we're gonna start taking a bunch of measurements. So, all right, uh, quick plug, super clean. Uh, I put this stuff to the test again. This thing was nasty. It looked about like this one did, it does. Uh, because I got done doing my last project with the change in the third member oil on the old car in the rear end and it was disgusting but uh, that's still cleaned up good so I'll use this to catch my antifreeze and hopefully recycle it because I'm cheap. Let's see how uh, how long we can turn this project into. Okay grill shells off it's pretty easy basically the the radiator mounts to the car through the upper brace and the two bottom bolts and then the grill shell mounts to the radiator on these tabs here, two on each side, and just has some quarter inch bolts to go through. So it's pretty easy. That should work pretty good. Let me talk a minute about why I'm putting a shroud on here. Uh, obviously to keep the engine cool, to pull that, force all the air to come through the radiator, radiator to keep it cool. I mentioned in one of my earlier videos that I was going to build a fan shroud for this, but it was gonna be kind of a challenge. And one gentleman uh, commented on there that that uh, I screwed up. The way I built the car, I screwed up. I'll never be able to build a, be able to build a shroud for it because the engine sits too low and it can't get alignment on there. And in his 50 years of experience building hot rods, the only way you can keep a big motor cool is with an electric fan. And, and he might be right. He might be right. And this video might end with me driving this thing down, hanging a four cell sign and in it and parking it in the Safeway parking lot. Uh, you know, it might, we, we, we don't know. But, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to put a fan, a shroud on that fan. I'm pretty sure it's going to keep it cool. I've got a 73 Nova that are some of the uh, earlier videos and in the intro to the video too, I guess. But uh, it's got a big block in it. And I fought that thing keeping cool for a long time until I just built a big, ugly fan shroud that sealed it off. And now that sucker stays cool all the time. Um... So I know it can work, and I look back in history, and I'm pretty sure there was a lot of big engines that ran cool before electric fans were a thing. So I think I can make this happen, even with this little bitty radiator here. All right, 
I'm going to get to figuring with my tape measure and my sheet metal and I'm going to start doing a little bit of math and a little bit of drawing and you can see right here this is my radiator I'm sorry this is my fan hanging down so you can kind of see the clearance where I'm going to have to come down on the back obviously it's going to have to come down about that far and come back up and then seal along the radiator and then up around the edges so this is good this is good it won't take too long I'll be able to figure out if it's going to work or not Bring it back a little bit when I'm done doing a little bit of arts and crafts here on a piece of sheet metal. Okay, be prepared to be impressed with my renderings of what this is going to look like. Did a bunch of measurements over there. Here's what I've come up with. This has got to be two inches deep. Uh, the top I'll do a 45 on. This will be two inches on the side. And this top piece will be well, almost three inches long. And then it's just going to come down here square with the bottom of the radiator. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this piece after that to enclose the bottom of the fan. So my hole, uh, if you can ever meet anybody who draws a perfect circle, look out for them because they're dangerous. Um, this is my shroud and then I'm going to cut my hole in it for the, for the size of the fan, diameter of the fan. But I'm not going to cut it all the way out there, I'm going to cut it a little bit shorter. And then I'm going to do these relief cuts and bend some tabs out. And then we'll just cut another sheet that wraps around those tabs. And then it's going to go all the way around the bottom here to enclose the fan. And then for this bottom piece, I'll just put a half moon flat piece in front of that uh, circle we used to seal that off. And it's just going to mount like this. It's going to just fill, really, it's very really simple. It's just going to fill this square. It might not, look, it might not look like it, but this is 17 inches by 17 inch square here. And I'm going to have it right, right against this piece and then right along underneath the lip here. I'm going to put a piece of rubber hose, some real thin like vacuum line, split it and I'll put it along the side to seal there. And then for this top, I'm thinking about doing a little lip on this, just doubling it over. Um, you know, taking a quarter inch of it or something and banging it over and just having it a folded, a finished edge. That way it won't try to collapse on me at all there it'll stay pretty solid there give some strength and rigidity along the edge so time to get some uh, measurements out and let's let's start drawing this sucker out and then we'll chop it out here we go okay I've got her all drawn out here my sides this is my top I got a quarter inch lip that I'm going to roll under. I did some math, some Pythagorean theorem. Thank you, Mom. She was my junior high math teacher. Uh, a squared plus B squared equals C squared to figure out how far down here to go, how long this leg was going to be so it matched up, plus a quarter inch so I can make it all work out. In theory, I'm going to chop this thing out, make some bends, and it's all going to line up perfectly. Let's see what happens. Okay. I got her all clamped up, uh, angle iron, right? Big chunk of angle iron I had over there in the metal bin. And I clamped it to the other edge of my bench, clamped my metal on there, and you can see my quarter inch line marked off here. I'm just gonna come in here with my cheap hammer, bang that down flat, and then I'll flip it over and just work it over the rest of the way. Yeah, what can possibly go wrong, huh? Okay, I got a nice edge there, only hit my thumb once. Now I can pop this guy loose and I'm just going to flip it over and I'm going to work that edge down and fold it over where I have my nice solid edge and crease for the top. Alright, here's what we got now. A top piece with the lip bent over on it for, for structure. And then my side pieces bent over and uh, this joint right here. But I'll clamp this together and I'm going to weld it. I'll turn my little wire feed way down. I'll be able to stitch that up and then grind it real smooth. Uh, I screwed up over here. This always gets me when things fold and bend and visualizing. I clipped this off to make it fit, but then I cut that corner off too. So I got to, I'll figure that out. Might not be a big deal. Anyway, I think I'm ready to tack that together. And then we can go over to the car. And on the bottom we're not worried about, right? Because that's where the fan's going to hang out a little bit. 
So we're going to build us another piece that's kind of a, a half moon to cover. It might have to break a little bit because it might have to offset for some fittings on the back side of the radiator. And then we'll come across with the piece, that, you know, over and then around the fan and back up. Seals it off. So it should the only thing exposed will be what's exposed to the fan. I say that, exposed to the fan this way because we got to go cut our, knock our hole in it. Good enough start. Got her tacked into place. I got some work to do. I like to clean all that crap off because it's galvanized before I weld on it because you're not supposed to weld galvanized because it'll make you sick. Uh, okay, got that out of the way. I got a lot more tack welding to do, a little bit of grinding, but it's dinner time, so I'm gonna quit for today. We'll see you guys tomorrow when we finish up the pan trap. Alright guys, I'm back. It's the next day. Uh, not that much time has passed. Uh, I did find my my razor and my shaving cream. Got that going for me. But I'm back out here trying to finish this fan shroud. And so here's what I did. I went and I did a bunch of measurements off the radiator and found out my distance from the top down and then centered. Well, I found that the, it is centered. And put a hole right there, a center punch right there to mark my center. The next thing I gotta do is cut my circle. Alrighty guys, uh, here's where we are. I measured my fan, and it's a little over 15 inches around the diameter of the fan, so I need to make a 16 inch hole. I've got my center punched here, so now I'm just gonna get myself a piece of string or a piece of wire and make myself a, uh, an eight inch long you know, radius, and I'm gonna draw my circle. Now remind me, don't let me go cut out that circle, because I need to come in about an inch and draw another circle and cut there and then I'm gonna split it and bend my tabs up, actually bend them out the other way uh, so that I have something to weld when I do my, my circle all the way around. All right guys, I got my special tool here. This is uh, exactly what it looks like. It's a piece of sheet metal with a bunch of holes drilled in it. But it's gonna come in handy right now because I measured it out. Actually, I drilled myself a special little hole. That's exactly eight inches. So now I get to come in here and to draw my 16 inch hole I'm gonna go just like this okay and then I'm gonna have the little tabs that go out oh about a half inch or so short of that so that's the hole I'm actually gonna cut out boom there you go that easy. Now I gotta get really busy with my trimmers and come in here and cut that hole out of there. Okay, so what I got going on here, I got my big crescent and I'm just uh, bending these tabs down. My circle's cut out uh, and I, on the inner circle. Now I'm going out to my mark after I made all these little nips and I'm bending them out. Yeah, I started and I started bending them in. I realized I screwed up, so I am now going back bending these down and then I'll go through and I'm just gonna bend each of these tabs down out to my outer line right here. So what it'll look like, it'll start looking like a fan shroud. Boom! Looks like a fan shroud now. Now before you get too freaked out about how ugly that is, we're gonna take a strip and we're just gonna lay one nice strip right over this all the way around the circle. I'm gonna go test fit it first, so let's see how this works. Okay, first test fit here. Uh, you can kind of see how it fits in. You know, there's a little tweaking to be done still, but see how our hole fits. The fan all the way around. Oh, it's a little off center. There, it'll sit about like that. That's pretty good. Now we got to figure out what to do with that bottom piece. All right, no problem. Okay, I did a little figuring. This is kind of complex, at least for my brain, so follow along here. What I need is for this shroud, this is the bottom of my radiator pictured, okay? And my fan's just gonna hang out. I don't wanna, I don't wanna have all my cooling air escape out there, so I need to seal it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out myself a moon, you know, it's gonna come flat across here, and then I'm gonna have like a half moon here. 
that finishes the circle of, of solid material, okay? But I'm going to break it where two of my tabs come in and tag into here, so it's going to be solid, about a half an inch out, solid, and then down to my half moon, and then the other end of it, uh, this middle section I'm going to break this way. And then I'll just build a little piece and tack it in there in the corners. So what, what it'll look like is a big hole where the fan just is pulling against metal for this bottom section of it, but it'll still force all the air to come out through the fan. That way my air doesn't come through my radiator, hit that, and then escape straight down. It'll, it'll cap it. Uh, so I'll build that, and then we'll have to build our strap that goes around it. It'll all make sense here in a little bit. I'm going to sit here and do some cutting. I'll bring you back when I have something to show you that makes sense. Okay, here's the piece I was talking about. Cut it out at half moon, put a flange on it, put the flange on the outside to be able to put our strip, uh, strip around there. And it's going to mount like this. Okay, this being the inside of the shroud. Uh, the radiator being in the big square part, and obviously this part hanging below the radiator. But I still don't want all of our heat, heat escaping there. So, it's going to go like this, and what I'm going to do on this bottom piece is I'm going to build a 2 inch strap that comes all the way around the bottom. And I'm going to show you a little technique on how to figure out exactly how long this is to have a piece of 2 inch, two inches that comes over that. Just a second. How I measure this all the way around, I'll show you. I'm going to start by doing this. Okay, I'm good with that. Good with it to about right there. In fact, that'll work. Into that inch. Okay, now, see that's what it's going to look like right there? Yeah, that'll look good. Now, lay this piece right here, and I need a strip that is twenty-one inches long. There you go. Alrighty, here's kind of the finished product. It's it's at least close enough you can see how it's going to work. And I discovered even even unbolting the radiator, there's no way I can get it in there to test fit it. But luckily the front is exactly the same dimension, so just imagine, if you will, this thing hanging on the back of the radiator. Let's see, about like that. So you can kind of get a picture of how that's going to fit in there, how the fan will fit in and it seals it all off. We still have plenty to pull through that big part of the hole. Now I've just got to come in here and I've got this strip. I've got it started here and I built this flange on the bottom. I, I put that in. And I've just got my big strip that I'm going to clamp in here and just clamp and tack and just work it all the way around. have to add another piece. I'll do that and then i got to attack this thing with a flap wheel and clean it up really good. And it should look pretty good. I'll bring it back when i got the finished product. Well friends, you get the general idea here. This is what the shroud uh, this is almost the finished product. I've probably got another hour of doing some more spot welds and tacking in all these corners and everything and then hitting it with the uh, flap wheel and cleaning it up and dressing it and then I'm going to use some thicker sheet metal come in on the sides here and then build my tabs that come around to mount it to the tabs on the radiator. So there you have it. It's pretty tedious work welding even with my little wire feed it's pretty tedious because it's, you know, such thin stuff. This is like 26 gauge or something like that. If you guys like this, you want to see more stuff about how just a dude is out here in his garage, you know, making cool stuff and building hot rods, hit the subscribe button and then click one of those links that's going to pop up on your screen right now to another one of my videos. I really appreciate you guys. Let's keep building this community. Hey guys, I couldn't leave you hanging. It took me long enough to edit this video that I figured I'd put a little closure on this and show you what the fan shroud looks like installed in the car. Here you go. Uh, it's the same shape as when we left off last time. Uh, you know with the offset down here on the bottom to make up for the fan sitting down so low. But it's bolted in. I built two little brackets uh, off of sheet metal on the inside here and they just bend here and tie into my tabs off my radiator. 
and I need to trim that one up. It looks pretty ugly hanging off like that. But uh, there it is. Yeah, it is what it is. It'll work. It's got about a half inch clearance all the way around the fan and it seems to work well. I fired up the car, turned it around and it doesn't rub or anything. Haven't really laid into the throttle yet to see if that engine rocks around and rubs, but uh, yeah, I think it'll work. Uh, I didn't paint it. I figure I'll paint it uh, maybe when I paint the car. How's that? You guys tell me, will it work? This thing can overheat on me? Why don't you guys put a little comment down below and place your bets. This summer one is really hot out and we're cruising. We'll come back and revisit and see how we did. Thanks for watching, guys.